Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Noble Creation TV back to you with another exciting edition of NFL Football Talk Detroit Lions. On today, we're going to talk a little bit about the Lions on today, and we're going to talk about the offense on today. Well, we know for the most part, the Detroit Lions offense has to get better. Last year, we had a sluggish start, and we kind of played sluggish throughout the season. Um, I don't know if it's because uh, the first injury we had was a lineman with Taylor Decker going down and then having some um, injuries also to uh, TJ Lane and also uh, Rick Wagner. But definitely, man, we want to step up this year on offense. Um, the offense is going to look different. We're going to have a, a couple of new guys infused on the offensive line. Um, being num being our number one pick is uh, Frank Regnow. He's going to be on the line. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see, man, how the Lions play on offense this year um, with the uh, power back. Um, you have a power back that's a speed power back, and you got a power back that is a power back. And that's LeGarrette Blunt. So we're going to see, guys, how these guys, uh, um, how Jim Bob Cooter is going to run this offense this year. Um, to me, the Detroit Lions just need to get balanced in the offense. If there's anything that the Detroit Lions need to do is that these guys need to get balanced and give a greater effort in catching balls. Try to make Matthew Stafford look as good as possible, guys, um, by catching the ball. Um he yes, last season um we had two receivers that went over a thousand yards, which is phenomenal. Um to have Marvin Jones and Golden Tate go over a thousand yards. But that's not what we just want to do. We want to be an offense that uh when we get on the field, man, we want to be dangerous. We want to be that team that teams look out for and say, Man, these guys are dangerous on offense. We got a young stud in Kenny Galladay. Um, I, the skies is the limit for Kitty Galladay. Um, I definitely think that he's a he's definitely going to be our future number one receiver. Um, he's a young guy, and uh, we just need to learn how to utilize him. And um, I, I figure that the Lions need to utilize him in a way that Minnesota used Randy Moss when Randy Moss was a part of the Vikings. We need to infuse that with Kenny G, that he needs to be able to stretch the field. You got to have one guy being able to stretch the field, and then you got to have another guy that can stretch the field as well. And Marvin Jones is pretty good at stretching it. Uh, Marvin Jones is pretty good at stretching the field, you guys. So definitely, man, I, ca I can't wait to see what happens in camp. We know we got the Amir Abdullah situation going on right now. But um, we'll find out, man, how the Lions are going to do this because we got all these running backs and we don't got enough balls to pass around to everybody or to, to hand off to everybody. So there's going to be some people coming off the bench. There's going to be some people that may not be active. But we'll see what the Lions do. But in this season right here, guys, this is a season of growth for the Detroit Lions because we're infusing so much and so many new intricate details on offense and on defense. So this is a different Lions team this year. Hopefully these guys go out and play smash mouth football. And um, I'm definitely um, wanting to see Matthew Stafford have an excellent season if he got the right protection. I think that if Matthew Stafford has the right protection, he's throwing for another 5,000-yard season again. I believe that Matthew Stafford can do it. Um, I'm definitely happy to have Carrion Johnson on the team. Um, he's a young guy, and he's a guy that can be molded and shaped into a franchise type of a running back. Um, we don't know what the Lions are going to do with Amir and how they're going to play him. And we don't know what they're going to do with Theo. Maybe they may uh, split Theo out at um, slot receiver at times and give uh, Golden Tate a break every now and then. So it just depends on how the Lions want to run their offense. And maybe the Lions might even infuse Jamal Agnew into the offense on some trick plays as they did last season, which kind of worked a little bit. So it's going to be phenomenal, guys, to see what the Detroit Lions do as they head off into the OTAs and the mini camp and to see um, how they're going to try to flourish on offense. We need to have an offense that is uh, chemistry ready. These guys need to find chemistry with, with one another and become a team and build from the ground up. So definitely, man, I can't wait to see how um, in shape Golden Tate will be and um, how good uh, Marvin Jones can be this season, as well as T.J. Jones. Um, all these receivers, we need everybody playing on a complete, totally high level this season. Let's get the job done, guys. Why not us? Why not, um, why not now? Why can't we win now? We can win now. It's the greatest opportunity to do something different. 
and let's win this season, guys. As always, thanks for watching. This is Noble Creation TV, and I'll be back. Peace.